I keep uh, am presented with these voters that are still waiting to find out more about Kamala Harris. And I think about that, and I think about all of these Republicans that have publicly come out and said, I'm voting for Kamala Harris. And I think about how nuts Trump has been. Uh, and I then I imagine him winning. And I realize to myself, if that were the case after all of this, I would be so wrong about the country that I think I live in. <laughs> because this really shouldn't be close. Uh, it, it, all you need to know about Kamala Harris, those of you who are still undecided, is that she's not the other one. She's not the maniac, right? <laughs> and uh, I'm, I imagine having to go through what I went through between 2016 and 2020 again. And I got to tell you, I'm, I'm silently a part of me preparing for it because I think, and I think everybody should be really sitting down for a moment and imagining what it's going to be like for each of them to live through four more years of a Donald Trump administration. <laughs> And if that's not enough to get you to start phone banking and writing some postcards, then you are part of the problem. So let me say this, Sam and I uh, had this conversation on our walk this morning. And the first thing that I need to correct you on is, is that it will not be four more years. Mm -hmm. uh, if he wins, it will be for a really, really long time because he's not gonna go anywhere. So that's the first thing that should terrify people and for people who don't believe it. And then I think the second thing is I am I am waiting. I am waiting for the Democratic Party. I'm waiting for someone to sort of come to the table and have a conversation with the American people. Uh, we have a person who's running for president who said at a debate with 67 million people that in a town in Ohio that people were eating cats and dogs, right? and did not push back from it and are still saying it and creating chaos in that town. And they don't care, nor the person who's running for president, nor the person who's running for vice president. Yeah. They are still standing behind a man in North Carolina who posted at one point that he's a black Nazi and that slavery should be okay. And they are still standing with him. We are talking about people in a party who say if a 12 year old is impregnated and raped, that she should still have that child, that women should have no protection. These are the people who are running for office. And we have 70 million people in this country who are supporting them. I think that other countries looking in at us are wondering what the hell has happened. And I think that whether it's President Biden, whether it's President Obama, whether it's George Bush, whether it's whoever people respect on both sides, military, they need to come to the table and say, we need to have a conversation with this country because this is something like we've never, ever seen before. And until they do that, they're acting like this is a normal election, which with Project 2025 will change the shape of this country if we don't wake people up. But can I just say, I mean, you're saying you're waiting for this moment. Look, Dick Cheney has said already. Liz Cheney has said already. We've got Adam Kinzinger. We've got all of these people from the Trump administration that say he's a danger. Don't I mean, you've got all of this already. What 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 are we what are we who's not? Who's who well, what are we uh, Yeah, Lito has his hand up. <laughs> so, okay, just because I I don't want, you know, I don't want to lose the train of thought. When you poison the truth, to the degree that Trump and everyone that's following his playbook has, the American people now, now think that everything they hear that's negative is spin. It's the lie. It's made up because they don't want him in power because he bucks the system and he's not one of them. And this I don't like, like it is. <laughs> they really do believe that. And this is the part that really drives me nuts is the single issue voters. These people who are so focused on the economy and what's good for the checkbook. And I'm like, but what would make you think that he is good at handling the economy? That's the real deal. That's the real deal. I'm doing a new series of Trump digital trading cards. You all know what they are. Each physical trading card has an authentic piece of my suit that I wore for the presidential debate. You see these numbers 
and people still trust him more on the economy largely than they do Harris. It's like you do realize that they can't necessarily do anything about that because if they do, you're going to say they're communists. And if they don't, it's all their fault. So what do you people actually yeah. fucking want? They want and a white they, person as president. That's what they want. So you've got a guy who's running for president who is some of the stuff he said in the last month seems beyond senile and insane. We are announcing the launch of Trump coins. I've seen a lot of coins out there using my very beautiful face. Dementia or age could incapacitate Trump to the point where J.D. Vance is taking over. Take a hard look at J.D. Vance. This guy, people will say he's dumb. He can't be truly dumb to get where he is. To me, he might play the fool, but that guy knows exactly what the hell he's doing, and he terrifies the crap out of me. I want to present yeah. another option to that, which is if J.D. Vance is president, what that really means is that Donald Trump Jr. is president. Donald Trump Jr. is the reason J.D. Vance is on the ticket. J.D. Vance owes this to Donald Trump Jr. And there's a reason that Trump Jr. is backing Vance, and that's because the Trump family will be in control whether the old guy is the head of the country or not. J.D. Vance is just gonna be the face for the public.